Hey guys, welcome to Japan to you, the best real Japanese class in the world. I'm Masa and Hiromi Des. Alright, so today we like to talk about some of the advantages if you guys learn Japanese. Mm -hmm. Advantages. But unfortunately, uh, learning Japanese is actually really difficult, especially for American people, I guess. For sure. Mm -hmm. Vice versa. And yeah, vice versa. Absolutely. And yeah, we have a lot of kanjis, which even Japanese people sometimes cannot read or write sometimes. And also, like grammar, Japanese grammar is totally different from English one. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so I think uh, learning Japanese is actually difficult. But you know, uh, learning new language, different language is always difficult. Mm -hmm. It's not easy for everyone. Yeah. So you gotta put like a bunch of efforts. To, into like learning new language. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be like two years to speak English mm -hmm. when I moved here. You so. put a bunch of efforts. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> you well, I was younger too. Yeah, yeah, I was young. Yeah. So easy. I think yeah, it was easy to easier, learn. Easier, I guess. Easier, yeah. I think so. But you know, if your if your age is like older than twenty, maybe you gotta put a lot of efforts. Mm -hmm. But you know, of course, there will be a lot of benefits good benefits if you learn if you learn Japanese uh -huh. so today we'd like to introduce top three benefits all right let's get it hear me yeah uh, so what's the number three all right let me tell you okay okay if you are in Japan and you speak English right and if but if you could also speak Japanese they have so much respect for you. <laughs> respect. Yeah, you get so much respect. You don't even know. What a benefit. <laughs> yeah, it's actually a really good benefit. Mm -hmm. Even if they can speak a little bit Japanese, I think Japanese people will think like, oh, your Japanese is really good. Mm -hmm. They are gonna say like that, I think. Yeah. Right? Because they love foreigners. Yeah, they and love they foreigners. Think, they, they really have cool. respect. Yeah. I guess. They think they're cool. If you speak English, they think you're cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so like Japanese people think like English is the coolest language yeah. in the world. They try so hard yeah. to learn English. I'm trying right now. <laughs> <laughs> to be cool. To be cool. <laughs> to be cool. <laughs> <laughs> to but you know, crazy. I think that's actually a really good benefit. In my case, uh, my first language is Japanese. Mm -hmm. And I'm learning, I'm still learning like English. But you know, here, here in America, I think there are a lot of foreigner people, foreigners who speak English really, really well, mm. right? So even if I can speak English a little bit, uh, they don't think like your English is good. But I don't know, maybe it's kind of culture thing, because you know it's kind of biased. No, I think there people here are just used to some people not speaking English. Uh, like they just know that they're it's not their first language, so they don't be surprised, you know, because uh, right, there's right, right. a lot of people that can't speak English like mm. fluently or native. So over there, there's not that many foreigners that can speak Japanese. Mm -hmm. This one is not actually good motivation to learn Japanese, but you know, it's actually really true and you don't need to be good at, super good at Japanese. Uh, if you can speak Japanese a little bit, uh, you'll be respected. No, no, like you'll be in the center of the circle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, center of the circle. <laughs> if you use the words you learn here, like slangs, mm -hmm. they'll be surprised. Yeah. Alright, so that was uh, number three. And what's number two? For number two, so if you learn Japanese, all the Japanese dramas, animes, even games, you can understand it deeper. Deeper. Uh -huh. And it will be much more enjoyable mm. to you. What's the uh, Japanese learners, they are really interested in Japanese culture. I think most of you guys like put subtitles when you, like, for example, when you watch animes. Terrace House. Terrace House. <laughs> Naruto. Wait, is it popular in here? Yeah. Japanese Terrace House? Yeah. It's popular in US? Yeah. Oh, really? House. Yeah. I never watched that. Oh man. This guy. You never watched it? Yes, I did. Oh, <laughs> you did? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, whatever. Yeah, of course, uh, you guys can enjoy uh, anime. If you don't understand Japanese, if you cannot read Japanese, uh, I cannot like measure you know, how you love Japanese anime or how much you enjoy the anime. But you know, if you could understand Japanese, you can enjoy much, much more. Do you agree with me? Mm. 
That's what I said. Yeah, yeah, that's what you said. <laughs> Boy, that's what okay. I said. <laughs> okay, let me say okay. Like sometimes Japanese humor mm -hmm. is different from America. Uh, so what's right. funny to Japanese people tonight? Like mm. funny to American people, vice versa. I went to Korea, I watched Aladdin. It was in English with the Korean subtitles. Mm. But then, you know, there's like funny, you know, English part, right? Like there's funny part that mm -hmm. some, the like jokes in English and nobody's laughing. And uh, I'm like, nobody's laughing. <laughs> I'm the only one that is like giggle, oh. and it's like what? <laughs> that wasn't yeah. funny. <laughs> I think it's really good benefits mm -hmm. to learn Japanese. Also, like if you guys have Japanese interest, mm -hmm. the speed of learning Japanese is faster than if you don't have any such a interest. Uh. But you know, I think most of Japanese learners are interested in Japanese culture, so I think it was fine. Mm -hmm. I think it's fine, but you know, in my case, I was not interested in any. English, like American culture. Shame on him. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But you know, honestly, I was not interested in American music, also, American movie. I was not totally interested in those things,、mm. cultures. So, like, you know, it was hard to keep my motivation to learn English.、Mm. But you know, my friend, he's also Japanese, so he was also learning English with me.、Mm. He loved to listen to, like, American pop song. So like he really enjoyed learning English, and his English level is getting it's faster than you. yeah faster than me, I guess. <laughs> It's okay, guys. He now loves Justin Bieber. <laughs> This guy. Yeah, I'm crazy about Justin Bieber. <laughs> I'm not gonna say I'm crazy, but you know, it's good to hear his music. But it's kind of weird because I said like I I like to. Like listen to Justin Bieber to my English friend, to my American friend, but he said, "Oh, really? That's kind of funny." <laughs> <laughs> really? I was like, "Oh, oh why can't you say like that? <laughs> I don't really understand. Justin Bieber is actually a nice singer." <laughs> yeah. Now it's up to everyone's opinion. <laughs> yeah. So they can love what they want. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. So that was number two, and let's go to the number one. For the top. Reason, top, it's top reason, top benefit, top benefit. You'll have bigger perspective.、Yeah! Bigger perspective. Yes.、Mm. So if you learn Japanese, not even Japanese, no. Yeah, not even Japanese. Learning foreign language、mm. is getting your perspective bigger,、mm. right? So I think yeah, that's absolutely true. Knowing other culture is a really good thing, amazing thing. Even if you couldn't speak Japanese well, it's really valuable to know the culture. For me, I'm not actually good at English, but you know, I kind of speak English, but <laughs> not like native speaker. I cannot speak like like a native speaker, but you know,、uh, <laughs> learning English is getting my perspective bigger. Absolutely. So like American culture and Japanese culture is totally different. I used to live in Korea, but you know,、uh, Korea and Japan. It's different, but you know,、okay. common base.、Mm, right, similar. Asian culture. Yeah. So when I moved to the U.S.,、uh, I was kind of had a culture shock. There was huge difference between American and Japanese culture.、Mm. I didn't have a difficult time, but you know, it was kind of、uh, hard to adapt myself to the American lifestyle. I, I'm still like struggling, I guess. <laughs> but it was really good to know the American culture.、Mm. Learning language is one thing, but like knowing other culture is like really valuable, and it was a kind of treasure to my life. You cannot change any that kind of experience with other thing. You cannot buy it, you know. So that's the number one thing. That was the top three reason. Yeah. So those are top three reasons. Learning Japanese is. Definitely difficult, but please、uh, keep in mind these benefits. If you could speak Japanese, you'll have such a huge benefit. So please try to study Japanese.、Yeah. Now you can sing along to anime songs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you understand it? Alright, alright. If you learn Japanese, yeah. 
uh, I think that's it. So this channel is perfect to learn real Japanese. So please guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Click the like button. Okay. And comment. What? Yeah, please leave a comment. Alright, so I think that's it. See you guys in the next video. Janet!